Hey, good morning, everybody. Monday. Um, so yesterday, I did I did Kendall's catwalk, uh, Kendall catwalk, up off of uh, I ninety exit fifty two, part of the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, you know, I was kind of looking into it because a lot of the reviews said you know you need to be an expert. It's uh, it's advanced and all this other stuff. And I get there and I'm like, this is a joke. It's not that difficult at all. And, and in fact, the, the most alluring part of the trail was the catwalk. And I thought it was a, a long trail along a mountainside, um, followed by a walk on on a mountain edge top. Nothing like that. It was. I mean, it was there, but it was it was much more minimal than I would have ever anticipated. So ultimately. <clears throat> I got in uh, like 15, almost 16 miles, and uh, the trail itself was actually very, I know some people will think it's difficult, it's actually quite easy for me. Um, uh, the most difficult part, I, I would probably say, um, it wasn't really difficult at all, it wasn't difficult. Um, but for new beginners, there are the boulder fields and the constant incline. You know, that might be an issue for new beginners. Um, but for myself, it was uh, it was very, very, very passable. And the fact is that it was so well-maintained that I was able to pretty much run the last part of the whole thing. Because um, I ran a good majority of the last couple, like four miles. Uh, which was great because I ate up all that time. But uh, I had two people pass me the entire time on the way down, and um, they were these uh, these trail runners. They they passed me at the top. I was going down. They they they're going up, and on the way down, I just I bombed all the way down. And uh, the guy's like, "Man, we've been trying to catch you this whole time, dude. You've been killing it, bro." Okay, cool. Appreciate it. I, I just wanted to get down as quickly as possible because I didn't want to waste the entire day um, on the trail. Just want to get home. And then the unfortunate thing is yesterday, because of the fact I got home, I went grocery shopping and uh, that right after I got home, I wasn't able to do my push-ups yesterday. So I was just too tired. I passed out in bed pretty early and um, did not get my... 7 hour 50 push ups in so the street comes to an end um, I'm I'm considering going back into it uh, I'm just picking it up today uh, but ultimately I do want to scale back on these uh, simply for the fact that it just takes up a lot of time and it's and it's all one particular workout one part of the body and I need to be diverse I need to work, move it all around so to show that I've, I've shown that I can do a thousand push-ups. I've shown that I can stay on top of doing 750 and 500, 300 a month every day. Um, you know, it's back to getting back to what I do best, and that's just you know moving the workouts around, doing legs, doing shoulders, doing arms, uh, uh, you know, running, you know, all that. So um, <clears throat> I might do one more month, try to do a thousand, uh, but after that, it's. Uh, it's a new job. It's a new start for me. I'm going to do something else. So, oh yeah, but the uh, but Kendall Catwalk, the hike overall. Um, I'm glad that I went at the time that I did, simply because of the fact that it was. I passed, I think, one other person who was hiking it in the morning, and the other four people I passed up were doing it or coming out of the lakes. Uh, because they, they stayed there overnight. And so um, there weren't many people on the trail at that time. But uh, on the way down, you know, trying to run and everything like that, that you had to uh, run and across these these groups of people. I mean, I'm just saw massive groups of people. It's nothing like rattlesnake, <clears throat> but there are a lot of people on the road or on the trail. And um, I just had kept it. And, and it wasn't. That was probably the biggest thing was the, the trail was so thin, it wasn't as wide, and you always had to kind of stop over and crawl into a bush and let someone else pass, um, but uh, that was, 
for all the groups of people. Everyone, everyone was out yesterday with their, with their dogs and with their, their old people. and So it wasn't that difficult of a hike because there are old people doing it, you know, so. But I had a great time. It felt so good getting on the trails. I got some pretty decent photos. There's some really good uh, cliff flower shots that I particularly, I like those. Where you got a flower on a cliff. Um, I did have to crawl around and kind of look goofy to get some shots, but ultimately they worked out. I looked at the shots last night. I, I can work with them pretty pretty well. Um, yeah, but other than that, though, I had a great time. It was a, it was a great hike. I want to stay on top. I want to get three to five hikes in the summer, you know. Even if they're just small and minimal, I just want to get them in, you know. Uh, just getting acclimated to being outside again. I missed it. Other than that, things are going well. Uh, I'm going to pick up the pick push-ups again today and just, you know, forget yesterday even happened. So, uh, 7.50 until I finish up this month, and I'll just take one day where I just wasn't unable to do it. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to stay on top of that. So, all right, you guys have a great week. Thank you.